All right, good morning, everybody. Time to uh, revisit a story yeah. we first looked at yesterday. So it's funny how you look into a story and you realize maybe it's not so new. Yesterday we were talking about the uh, city of Waterloo uh, at deciding that they're going to collect poop from their parks to turn it into power. And the media went crazy. This is such a great idea. It's such a great idea. So I looked into it yesterday and found out we've actually been doing it for years. Who knew? There's a company called Poop Patrol, and uh, they have been doing it for years. They're the ones who go out and clean up your backyard. And also, there is a city in Durham region that's been doing it for a few years as well. And Europe as well. Somebody tweeted in yesterday. So there you go. So tell you what, let's find out how it works, shall we? Okay. All right. Going to take a trip to the loo, Waterloo. Hi this all. is George, and he is heading outside. Okay, I'm going to use the term, he's going to give us a gift. Okay. All right? Because I don't think anybody wants to see this in the morning. In fact... Oh George gives us a lot of gifts. Oh, he's like Santa Claus. Santa he's Claus. like Santa Claus. He's Santa Claus. But years ago, the folks from Poop Patrol realized the potential of the presents George and his friends provide us. They were pioneers in turning these offerings into energy. We average about 450 uh, kilograms a week. So, so far in the last few months, we've actually yeah. been able to convert almost five tons of poop into power and we're uh, aiming for as much uh, poop as we can. And then about two years ago, the city of Pickering was among the first municipalities in Canada to realize that once the wrapping paper is uncovered, these gifts could actually help to power local homes and businesses. So when you stoop and scoop in Pickering, someone right, has so been picking up after you. Three kilograms. There you go. It's three kilograms right there. True pioneers right there. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So how do they actually convert the poop into power? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm glad you asked because, okay. I mean, it, it is a good question, how all right? How do they do it? And could this not relate to us humans as well? I don't know. Right? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah. First, we need to do a review, though, all right? Okay. So we have all the presents in the backyard and in the parks of Pickering. And then, like Santa, you haul these gifts 150 kilometers to Elmira. The final destination is a place called Cornerstone Renewables, which actually looks like an evil secret lab. And there's the evil <laughs> science guy, Travis Willings. But rather than world domination, he just wants to power it. Every year, 70,000 tons of organic waste, including the dog gifts, uh -huh. come here from across southern Ontario. And then I went into the control room. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to see this, this control room, of right? Of course you did. It's going to be massive, right? I love a control room. I looked all over. Where's the control room? Where's everybody? Oh, wait, no. It's one small screen in this room, Kevin. So our operators are actually able to manage the process using their cell phones, if need be. Really? Yes. All right, now here is how it works by the numbers. Number one, George and his friends wrap up the presents. Number two, the gifts are all gathered with care. Number three, it is trucked to Elmira. Then, number four, it is processed. Then for a month, it is churned in holding tanks and deprived of oxygen. It breaks down and that produces methane gas. Mm. The gas is sent across the yard to the engine rooms. Here it powers turbines that produce the electricity that is simply fed back into the grid through these wires. Who thought of all this? And outside, and there it goes. So, genius. When you turn on the lights, remember the gift. Wait a minute, I have a better, I have a better explanation. Whenever you watch breakfast television and turn on the TV. Really with the toilet <laughs> Right? You know what? Yeah. This is brilliant operation. I have one more thing. Now, this is completely by coincidence, and it's ironic, okay? Okay. I, wa I want to see what's across the street from this digester. Okay. All right, so take a look. This is an Elmira. Dog park? Right across the street, this plant makes dog food. Oh! So sooner or later, it's going to end up on the other side, side of the street, of, right? the circle of life. This is amazing. What about all the cows and their methane? Isn't that the problem with uh, the CO2 and the methane? And maybe they can figure that out. Uh, Horses, manure, not just for your flowers. We've been doing this for years. Toronto has a digester up on Disco Road. There are a number in the province as well. So, I mean, it's not, not new. Yeah. It's nice to know it's <laughs> I love there. it. This is all a brilliant right. green solution. Oh, by the way, I, have a, I, I, I got you something, a, a gift for you. 
Oh, there one you go. is this one of your poo yeah. resins? I just heard we'll a dog. Be, uh, I just heard a dog. We'll be right back on Breakfast Television. Stay with us.